just passed our mountain rating last week and this will be our first flight without any instructor and we have Luisa who is visiting us here in Switzerland she's from Italy it's my first flight in Switzerland I'm very excited to see what it's like and we are going to Jungfrau let's go fly 15 and 16. Okay, helicopter, Zulu, uniform, Romeo, radio check. Check. Yeah, good, good. Thank you very much. Okay, it's clear. Don't go too far to the back because the other guys are in the back. Yeah. Yeah, we have a torque of 75. Area is clear. The helicopter the uniform Romeo taking off when south departure via Fatto. Shindaleki. Let's go. You see Lake Zurich on your left. And the other lake on the right side is uh, Sealsee. We came through here with the motorbike the other day. Uh, okay. The Uniform Romeo Sector South 4000 and heading for Unteragerise. Schindelegi. So we were just cleared. Oh, fighting chat. Oh, Two yeah. chats yeah. on the right. Yeah. Uh, we were just cleared to cross the CTR of Bourges on 6,000 feet and we are overhead for Waldstättersee military training very cool in front of us we have what is it? is that the Riggi? yeah okay And on the right side you see the city Lucerne over there and now below us there on the little hill you see a villa uh, it's Villa Honeck the right side you can actually go land there and have lunch not today um. Here in front you see also this airfield, right down there, that's a military, but it's also the factory of Pilatus, okay. where the Swiss made aircrafts. Best planes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's already pretty when you do a, a motorbike tour. But when you're flying, it's even prettier. Yeah. Uh, CTR and CMA direction uh, is not to clear. Two two one four, clear to cross the right path. Feet by QNH one zero one nine. Report three zero four. Crossing uh, is approved. Okay. okay. Below us, there's a parking spot and the Swiss flag and the restaurant and then you have like a stone formation in the middle and that's the Mittelpunkt der Schweiz So this is Meiringen another military airfield and uh, they are also active today but we've been cleared to cross and we need to report Ox up You're going to see on your right side a little lake we went down there and landed, it's super nice Okay. Ah, uh, you should actually see it already. Yeah, I see it. Coming closer to Eigen Norfund and the uh, Wiss. Oh, I think it's up, up there. Yeah, you I need think so to too, climb. Yeah. You yeah. need to climb a little bit more. Nice glacier down there. I don't know which one it is. I will look it up at home and then uh, blend it in in the video. <laughs> what? Same oh, yeah. altitude? Yeah. Amazing, huh? Yeah.
Unbelievable. How they built this. Crazy. Looks scary. So we are on 11,000 feet now. Climbing up. Make a turn. Uh, looks like a highway. Always on this Jungfraujoch, it's a hell of a win. So it's turbulent up here. So on the right you have Jungfraujoch. Let's make a flyby. Yeah. Actually they're flying with a helicopter. Are they? Yeah. Lots of tourists up here today, so we're not going to land there. We are on... 11,500 feet. So this is one of the 43 or 40 official helicopter landing spots in the in the Alps, in the Swiss Alps. Ebene Flur. Just gonna do a the high right call. That would be the landing spot down there. Ah, it's too windy. On the right side, down there, you see the little house on the rocks. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Conde yeah. 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 And uh, where is it? basically a flow, a uh, fluent transition between Kandafian and Petersgrad. Yeah, right. Petersgrad. Up, up here you have Petersgrad. Somewhere there in the snow you can see a red flag. That is the official landing point. But uh, we are allowed to land in a... How do you say that? In a circle of 400 meters around it. Okay, it's an orange flag, it's not red. Woohoo, nice landing. Christoph is doing a tour by himself and if the helicopter is not here it's lovely and almost warm with all the sunshine yeah. and so quiet <laughs> until he comes back and blows us away. <laughs> Let me show you the surrounding. from Petersgrad. 70%, everything in the green, and the departure area is clear. Let's go. Find the house. I have the house. I have people inside. We're 
because it's already sloping down yeah. where you were. Yeah. Here it's good. It's good. Nice good. approaching Grindelwald. Used to go there for skiing vacations many times with my parents. That's so nice. So we are crossing the CTR of the military airfield Meiringen again. 8,000 feet, we are cleared. Meiringen, helicopter uniform Romeo just uh, cleared your airspace and uh, we have Melsifut in sight, 8,000 feet. Uniform Romeo, you melee frequency, goodbye. That's where we went um, snowboarding in December. Titlis. <laughs> so this is uh, the area of Flims Locks. It's a very popular area for skiing and snowboarding in winter time. And in summertime, many people go mountain biking here. Do like downhill mountain biking. This would be our landing spot down there. All the snow is melted. No snow wind. Without snow, I wouldn't land here. Yeah, but it'd be all like in a hole. We have now wind coming from this position. Florida UVV and helicopter uniform Romeo 9700, how you ain't go? Florida UVV. Some hikers. It's downwind check. Very in the green, doors are closed. The UVV and helicopter uniform Romeo final from the east for landing. Sorry, the UVV. Taking off direction west and making a few circuits approaching from the northeast. Glory to you. Over check. 70% of torque. We're good to go. I pull 10 more and we go. Some speed. 
This is Clarida, helicopter Zulu uniform Romeo approaching from the northwest final 50. This is Clarida, helicopter Zulu uniform Romeo picking up and departing to the northwest 50. Over check. 70. And we go. Torque sixty. I go. I'm gonna go around here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Sixty torque. It can fly at ninety six knots, so I have to be careful that I'm not going too fast for now. Um, this is the closet bus, and people like to come here with the motorbikes. Yeah. Eight thousand feet, twelve degrees. Happy to be flying again. Tonight, Luisa will eat everything. <laughs> everything. Okay, so now we are um, the Kleinometen and the one on the left is the Große Meten. We're going to pass around it because we still have time before we can land at our home base. On the right we see Lauerzersee and the big one in front of us is uh, Vierwaldstättersee. Great lake to kitesurf also but freezing cold. They are waving at us. That's the Aguerise, and we went there swimming two days ago with the motorbikes. Quite warm. Romeo, final. No Banley. Gonna go fly over the photo. Stay relatively high because of the other helicopter. Pull the torque in. Gonna stay like this. Now I'm having a tailwind. Okay. So guys, we made it back to Schindleggi. It was a beautiful uh, little trip that we did. I hope you enjoy it. Bye, over and out.